Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. We are going through the book of Proverbs and we should end, I believe, on August 11th or 12th of the whole book of Proverbs, which shows you how easy it is to get through this book. And one of the things that I have been doing lately and I've done in the past as well is to read a proverb a day since there's 31 of them. It's really helpful. And when I'm going through a time in my life where I'm lacking wisdom, I will go back to that practice. So I maybe do this a couple times a year and it's been a huge blessing to me. So maybe that's something you want to pick up as well. We are in Proverbs 23 and um, we are reading verses 1 through 8. Eighteen in the New International Reader's Version, and this is what it says. When you sit down to eat with a ruler, look carefully at what's in front of you. Put a knife to your throat if you like to eat too much. Don't long for his fancy food. It can fool you. Don't wear yourself out to get rich. Don't trust how wise you think you are. When you take even a quick look at riches, they are gone. They grow wings and fly away into the sky like an eagle. Don't eat the food of anyone who doesn't want to share it. Don't long for his fancy food. He's the kind of person who's always thinking about how much it costs. Eat and drink, he says to you, but he does not mean it. You will throw up what little you have eaten. You will have wasted your words of praise. Don't speak to foolish people. They will laugh at your wise words. Don't move old boundary stones. Don't try to take over the fields of children whose fathers have died. That's because the God who guards them is strong. He will stand up for them in court against you. Apply your heart to what you are taught. Listen carefully to words of knowledge. Don't hold back correction from a child. If you correct them, they won't die, so correct them. Then you will save them from death. My son, if your heart is wise, my heart will be very glad. Deep down inside, I will be happy when you say what is right. Do not long for what sinners have, but always show great respect for the Lord. There really is hope for you in days to come, so your hope will not be cut off. Mind if I pray for you. Lord, um, for those listening today who have a hard time with the latter part of that, verse 18, there really is hope for you in days to come, so your hope will not be cut off. I pray you would infuse them today with hope. And Lord, I know um, just in looking back over my life, there have been some very dark times, some times where I thought that it would never be light again. And yet, Lord, you did show up and you did bring light eventually. So, Lord, I pray for those who are in that darkness without hope, that you would shine hope back in, whether it be through um, a message from a friend or through unexpected provision or just the sense of peace that you give through the Holy Spirit. Would you bring back hope? We can't live without hope, Lord. We need it. And ultimately, Lord, we thank you so much that our hope is secure. It is rooted in you you. It is rooted in the kingdom. And um, ultimately, as we finish our work here on earth and doing the will of you who sent us, um, there is eternal hope in the resurrection that we will one day be, um, we will be saved from our sin. We won't have to be encumbered by it anymore. We will have perfect bodies that don't hurt anymore. We will no longer be crying from trauma, Lord. Everything will be made right. So help us to fix our eyes on you, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before you endured the cross, despising its shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God, that we may not grow weary and lose heart. Lord, I pray for those who are weary today and who have lost heart, that you would infuse them through this prayer, through your Holy Spirit, through a friend, um, with the joy that comes from you and that hope that endures and is everlasting. Lord, um, help us not to covet what other people have. Help us to be content in whatever our lot is today, even if it is in that dark place. Lord, teach us what it means to sing in the darkness. Lord, help us also after verse four, not to wear ourselves out to get rich and not to trust in how wise we think we are. Lord, you are our provider. We are not our provider. And so help us to um, surrender even that part of our lives to you. Um, 
Lord, help us to understand when we are, or catch us in the middle of the time when we're speaking to foolish people because they are going to laugh at our wise words. So help us to stop in the middle of it. I know I've had that experience before and it is not easy (laughs) for sure. Um, Lord, we love you and we praise you. We thank you just for this opportunity to pray every single day. It's such a privilege and such um, a beautiful thing that uh, we can connect with you this way. Thank you for accepting us. Thank you for sitting down, Jesus, at the right hand of the throne of the Father and interceding for us every single day. I know my intercedings are so small in compared to the interceding that you do, Jesus. So thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. If you want to support the podcast, you absolutely can. You can go to patreon.com forward slash pray every day. That actually pays William for the engineering that he does. And among other things like hosting and all the little uh, extra things that happen in podcast production. My hope is to, we're at about 650 a month. And I would like to bring that up to a thousand because at a thousand dollars a month, I can then, um, pay for uh, tra- um, for every prayer to be transcribed. That's the word I was looking for. Um, and so when we get to a thousand, we'll be able to transcribe those prayers and put them up on every single post. So if there's a prayer that you love and you want to share with someone and that person's not very podcast savvy, you can actually just share the transcript of the prayer with them. So that would be super awesome. So consider that if God's tugging at your heart, I totally trust him to provide for this ministry. So I'm not worried about it, but have an amazing day. You are loved friend. You are very, very loved. You are loved. Rest in that today.